Grant. What can you say about how you played today? Um, you know, this was all about Aspire getting better, and so we went out and tried to compete. We tried to be physical. Um, with the guys we had, you had to shoot every open shot you had because we weren't going to be a team that, you know, knew how to run an offense or anything. So I got some shots off, uh, a couple of them, you know, dropped, and, and it opened up everything else for our team. And uh, like I said, it was about Aspire getting better, and they looked really good. They made great adjustments. Uh, when Nigel got on me, it, you know, it was a different story. He, he played lockdown defense. So it was a really good game, a lot of fun. I'm glad I can still run around. My only goal was not to get hurt, so I think I'm all right. What can you say about some of the guys that on the Spires uh, roster and how they play? Really, really talented. Uh, you know, they've got a little bit of everything. They're long and athletic, but they've got guys that can really shoot it. They've got guys that can penetrate. They've got awesome big guys. Um, Charles Bassey's one of the most versatile players in the country. Um, and then you've got some, some big-time athletes that can, that can get up and down. Uh, I think, you know, once they start really pressuring people uh, and getting after them the entire game, because they didn't press us, I think they would have worn us down and it probably would have been a different game. What does it say to you about um, Louisville as, as a city uh, to get a, a program like this to come here? I think it's really special. I think um, there's nothing really like this in Kentucky that I know of, in the state, not, not just Louisville. And um, the fact that you have this many talented guys coming together to, you know, benefit the team. But all these guys are, are getting recruited at a very high level. They get to compete against the best players in the country every day in practice. Uh, Jeremy runs a really tight ship, so they're, they're great in the classroom. They're great in the community. Uh, I'm just so impressed with what he's been able to put together and what he's brought to Louisville. Okay, let's be honest with us, man. How, how often are you playing? Because it, it, it uh, seems like you ain't lost the step. I play about once a week. I play. I play my old man basketball leagues uh, just to stay in shape. You know, I don't like to go running miles or anything like that. My cardio is, is playing basketball once a week or so, and uh, you know, I can still shoot it a little bit. You know, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about the things that's going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's upsetting. It's disappointing. Uh, you know, just ready for it to be behind us. You know, I want to. I'm a University of Louisville guy, and that's what's. Uh, what I'm about and what I want to, to see thrive going forward and um, you know we got to trust in the leadership around the University of Louisville we trust that they're going to lead us in the right direction uh, it's been tough to be a Louisville fan lately but uh, I think greener times are ahead and uh, I think it'll just you know the university's fine we're going to keep getting better um, and uh, you know it's unfortunate but what can you do um, I think you, they chose a really good guy in David Padgett, first off. Um, I think if there was one guy that could keep the team together and keep them on the same page, uh, keep things functioning as normal as possible, it's probably him. Um, and then I think he's added some great pieces around him that can really help him. Um, like you said, the guys are talented, man. It's going to be a good basketball team. Um, in their red-white game, man, they were putting up a ton of points. Dangadell and Ray Spalding look like surefire pros. And, um, you know, I think they could have a really good year. So it's going to be tough to have the community behind them because I know, you know, there's been some tough times. But um, it's, it's greener times are ahead, like I said. It's going to get better and better, and, and those are good coaches to have behind them.